So, with the finish, it's gonna look like this. I've hit my chin strap, boom. I go 10 fingers now. Okay, I walk, or I walk in low, and we put it here. It's imperative though, that I close my elbow, all right? Now, Wim, because he's programmed to do it, he drove into me a little bit, but it's okay because I have this. I can always readjust to get back on my side look. Now, if you don't try Podman, yeah. To finish, the finish is gonna look like this. All right? Just come this side, Gil. So, watch my left elbow. Right now, it's loose as anything. Okay, so when I fell, it was here. All I'm gonna do is take my left, my right elbow, sorry, to my right hip. And that's the finish. People try and pull from here. Uh-oh. And now Wim's passing my guard. Okay? So without Wim, the movement is going to look like this. Okay? It's going to look like a side crunch. Ah, my right elbow down to my hand. At the same time as I do that, I do this with my hands. I rotate my wrists and I try and bring my hands up to my throat. Did anyone notice what that did to Wim's head? Wim's head started like this, his neck started here. Yeah, exactly. It goes from there to that there. Is. And what that does is it compresses my hands up into his neck without having to push. It folds it down over the top of it. It's a similar principle to what we do with the anaconda choke when we walk back towards them and we try and grab at their legs with our legs. It's the same thing, folding the head. So. Within this now we're understanding some of the principles of how to finish a guillotine with any grip. The side crunch, elbow to hip, and the rotation of the hands up towards my throat. So whether it's a regular guillotine, or whether it's a 10 finger guillotine, the motion is always the same. On my side, side crunch, hands up towards my neck. Okay, so when we fall again, watch my elbow, it's tight, look. Like I'm holding a, a football underneath my arm and I want to go to my side. And already, look how Wim's neck is folded towards his chest. Okay? So from here, my hands come towards my head and my elbow continues towards my hip. And Wim taps. Okay? We'll deal with what happens when he pressures in and everything after this. But let's just get now driving that in. Okay? So what's doing the choking? It's that part of my thumb, the big knuckle. It's being driven straight into his Adam's apple. Okay, and you can feel your neck twisting, right? Okay, so let's get the grip. Let's drive that in and we must crunch elbow to hip. Okay, we get all of those elements. We should have a very tight guillotine choke. Okay guys, let's go.